Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Summer and today I'm going to share with you what I've been melting over the last couple of weeks, my empties and unempties, and share with you my thoughts on how these scents performed for me. So, hope this is okay that I'm just going to do them bi-weekly and I may even change to just do a monthly melting basket and a monthly empties and unempties just because I feel like it'll be less redundant and honestly like sometimes I'm way too ambitious on my melting baskets and I just pull like so much stuff that I want to melt and I just can't get through it in a week and then I have roll over to the next week and then I just can't get through it each week so I may try uh to just do a monthly melting basket maybe and I guess in March because in February I'm just gonna try to get through all of my skip to the next week and just try to melt through those so I may not post another melting basket in February I don't know stay tuned more to follow I may just keep posting the melting baskets and just try, try to like get there as best as I can and just try to do like less but um you know okay so let's start with my empties. So the first one I want to mention is from Scentsy and it's called Crumb Top. And I don't have the notes, but I'll try to put them right here because Scentsy doesn't put them on their um, packaging. But this it smells really, really good. This was a recommendation from Charity when I placed my Scentsy order with her. And it smells so good. It's kind of just like a, it smells like a pie crust to me with like sugar cookies. And on warm, it really, I was kind of just like, you know, it's not a super, I could smell it, but it was one of those that I was like, you know, it's probably not going to be a good performer. But I didn't really know because I'd never tried Scentsy before. So this was my first one. And honestly, it did really well in my home. I did it um, in my open concept with my Scentsy warmer and uh, with the cord and then with the, I forgot what it's called, diamond something. Anyway, I did it in both of those and it did really well. It smells so, so good. And so I was really pleased with that and I'm excited to try more Scentsy in my next melting basket. All right, next I melted, I Must Not Tell Lies from Fantasy Wax. This is Amaretto Coffee Bean and Pizzelle. And as usual from Fantasy, this was a really strong thrower. I loved the scent. Sweet Amaretto with, with coffee is just Perfection. And I melted this one on a Monday all throughout my house and it smelled so, so good. Next, I have an empty from Paw Print Melts. This is pistachio pudding, vanilla pudding, almond, honey, pistachio, and butter. This is so good. I love pistachio. And this did really well in my home as well. I did it in my office in my bedroom. I had a different pistachio scent throughout my open concept. And so I thought this would be a good compliment to that. And it did really well and smells so, so good. All right, let's see. I didn't even organize these. Okay, next up I melted Vanilla Sugar and Palo Santo from Lavender and Speckles. It's warm vanilla sugar blended with woodsy Palo Santo. And I didn't even check to see when I was supposed to melt this. And I'm pretty sure I wasn't supposed to melt it until like mid-February. But I just couldn't help myself. And you guys, like this through like a champ I melted it in my open concept my husband's really into palo santo and so i let him choose what i was gonna melt throughout the house that day and he chose this one and i mean lavender and speckles just performs for me her palo santo if you've never tried her shop please try her palo santo blends are just phenomenal all of her blends everything i've ever melted from her has been great but my favorite scent of all time in her shop is donut shop in palo santo and when she does her restock on February 11th, I'm going to pick up a few because that's the scent I never want to run out of. This is a close second to that. This is so, so good. The vanilla sugar. It's different, but her Paulo is just to die for. Go try her out. If you don't like Paulo, she's got lots and lots of scents to try out. Okay. And the last of my empties are from Sassy Girl Aroma. This is strawberry white cake. Strawberries baked in a fluffy white cake. This is one of my favorites from her. I love her strawberry white cake. Mm, hers and Birdie's are probably my favorite strawberry white cakes. And this one, you know, I always have good performance from Sassy Girl. I have pistachio zucchini waffle cone. This is like my favorite pistachio, I think, from her. Pistachio marshmallow zucchini and vanilla waffle cone. Love this. Could melt it every single day. It's just a powerhouse on warm. Love it. And the last one is October Kiss. This is pumpkin 
pecan waffle, butter brickle, and zucchini bread. This one did okay. It wasn't as strong as the other two. It wasn't a dud, but it's just, I didn't smell it as strongly as I smelled the strawberry white cake or the pumpkin zucchini waffle cone, but still good nonetheless. I would definitely repurchase. All right, that is it for the empties. Okay, so for the unempties, what I melted, let's start with, let's start with this. This is Sugar Melts by Stacy. I have never purchased anything from Sugar Melts by Stacy. This actually came as a freebie in one of my D-Stash orders, but so I thought I would give it a try. I've heard good things about Sugar Melts by Stacy. I wanna say it's her peach something. Anyway, so I wanted to try her out. So this is under the big top. Sugar cookie dough, frosted sugar cookie, animal crackers, and maraschino cherry. So I really didn't know what to expect with this. Um, I love all these notes. So I thought, you know, it would be good. But this, guys, this was such a strong performer. If you've ever tried Sugar Melts by Stacy, let me know. I'm sure, like, it says it was poured in June 2022, and it says no cure time on here. This was a powerhouse. Like, I was really shocked at how strong it threw. I could smell it, like, all throughout my house. Really liked it. So I kind of want to try her shop and see um, what other melts she has. So if you've tried Sugar Melts by Stacey, let me know what I should pick up. All right, next from Fantasy, I melted Goblet of Fire. This is Zucchini Bread, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Cinnamon Rolls. This was heavy on the cinnamon rolls. I didn't smell the Zucchini Bread and Sugar Cookie Royale as much as I thought I would, but I still enjoyed it. And Fantasy Wax always performed really well for me in my home. Next is also from Fantasy. This is Thestral, Palo Santo, Sugar Cookie Royale, and Toasted Mallow. And this, I just got this like a couple, maybe a week or two ago. And this was so strong. This was such a good performer. And it smells so, so good. Another Palo Bakery blend. You guys know I'm really loving that right now. And my husband really likes Palo, so I like to melt stuff that he enjoys also. Okay, next up, I did a scoopable, my very first scoopable from L3. And this is VH Tapes and Zucchini Bread. And I got through quite a bit of it. So it's like to here. And honestly, like, I was just like, you know, I can't really be bothered to do scoopables. It really wasn't bad. And I loved the throw. It was so strong. Now, they don't last as long as like regular wax melts, but... While they do, it is so strong. And this, I just requested it to be poured again in a scoopable. This smelled so good. I literally wanted to melt it for days. Loved it. Would definitely repurchase. And I want to go through my bin of scoopables and start getting them out and use like at least once a week. Okay. Next thing I melted was I Heart Carbs from Knoll's Farm. This is sugar cookie dough, fresh baked bread, and vanilla custard. This did well. I mean, this isn't going to be like a strong thrower just because of the notes, but I could definitely smell it. And it's, you know, heavy on the bread, the dough, the carbs, and all my favorite things. And so we we'll definitely, we'll definitely repurchase it. Um, I melted this in my office and it smelled really good. Okay. Next up, I have two from Destination Wax. I melted pistachio almond cookie. Pistachio and almond cookies warm out of the oven. I did this in my open concept and it did, it did okay, it did decent. It smells really good. I melted it with a couple of other pistachio blends and so I think it did pretty good. Next up from Destination, we have Wedding Cake. This is vanilla cake with thick white frosting and a thin layer of strawberry jam. This one did all right as well. I did this one in my office and the same day I did strawberry white cake everywhere else from Sassy Girl, I did this in my office. And it wasn't as strong as Sassy Girl, but it did smell really nice. Next up, I have Rainbow Melts Cookie Heaven. This is gourmet sugar cookies, Danish butter cookies, and vanilla butter fudge. This is the first thing I've ever smelled or ever melted from Rain Rainbow Melts. And I did this in my office because it's, you know, kind of a lighter scent. But it smelled really good. Just like cookies. 
Next up from Salt Mountain, this is Sleeping on Clouds, Lavender, Boardwalk, Marshmallow Clouds, Vanilla Orchid, Sugar Cane. And I melted this one in my son's room. And this was a, was this? No, this isn't the first thing I've ever melted from Salt Mountain, but y'all, this smells so good. It's just the most calming, creamy lavender scent. And it smells so, so good. And then the last thing I melted was from Lavender and Speckles, Pine Cones and Spice, Roasted Pine Cones, Cinnamon Buns and Spice. And y'all, just, you know, Beth's stuff just does so, so well. And this smells so good. It's just a spicy, like a super spicy cinnamon with Roasted Pine Cones. It is beautiful. And this one through too. So, I really had a good couple of weeks with melting and I really enjoyed, um, you know, trying the scoopable, trying some new scents. And of course my love affair with Palo Santo Bakery is continuing. And so, um, I hope you enjoyed hearing some of my thoughts and let me know if you're okay. I know I keep like postponing the melting basket and the unempties and empties, but let me know if you're cool with monthly melting baskets and monthly empties and unempties. Might be just, it might be easier and better and less like redundant. So just let me know. If you prefer me to do them bi-weekly, I can, I can continue on this train as well. So uh, just let me know down below and let me know what you melted this week or what you're looking forward to melting next week. And um, if you're gonna do like a vendor specific melting basket, what's your mood melting this week? Just let me know all the things down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a wonderful day, week, weekend, whenever you're watching. And I'll see you on my next video very soon. Bye.